Welcome to DrillingContractor.org. I'm Alex Endress and joining me today is Denise Livingston. She's the Automated Drilling Systems Technical Advisor for Baker Hughes. Denise, thanks for chatting with us today. Thank you. Recently, Baker Hughes worked with Consul Energy to achieve two mile-a-day wells in the Marcellus. Can you tell us about the approach to this project and how you were able to achieve this level of success? One of the main key factors for the success was teamwork. We had an extensive, diverse group of people working together from office to rig personnel, making sure that all our goals were aligned, everybody was on the same page. Also making sure that we were effective on our communications across all levels. So both operator and service companies, the key aspect for sure was teamwork, good communication and making sure uh, our goals were aligned. What challenges were encountered during the drilling of these two wells? One of the main challenges by itself was the well location. We drilled this pad underneath Pittsburgh International Airport, so just by itself was a, a big challenge. And every time you talk about drilling a high dog leg curve with a long lateral, uh, horizontal drilling is always a challenge. So making sure that we have the proper ROP, uh, we were tracing exactly what we were planned to do in terms of well trajectory, building that high dog leg curve and landing in the reservoir and staying on that reservoir. Those were the main challenges that we were able to overcome very successfully. And also, what lessons were learned during this operation that might be able to be applied in future operations deploying high buildup rate rotary steerable systems? I would say plan, plan, plan. Uh, you cannot achieve such a great success drilling this uh, high dog leg curve and this extensive lateral section without planning. You need to extensively plan, come together with the different groups between operator and service company, office personnel, rig personnel, to make sure everybody is aligned what are expected from them, from the different groups, that we agreed on the goals, and during the execution, making sure that the communication doesn't get lost anywhere, right? Because we have a very good communication during the planning phase, but also needs to be translated during the execution of the well as well. So I would say plan, plan, plan. Great. Well, Denise, thanks for speaking with us again. You're welcome. And thank you, viewers, for joining us today at drillingcontractor.org.